Hi y'all, this is Matthew from Real Fire Barbecue coming at you again from sunny Miami. In this short video we're going to talk a little bit about various ways to light the charcoal. So our genuine firebox here creates a situation where you can put the coals on top like I'm going to do right now and you don't want to put too many, you want to put enough to get it started, okay, just like I'm doing right now. And I use lump charcoal. Some people will use wood. What I ask that you don't do is use that gasoline infused charcoal that uh, lights right away because that's not the real fire barbecue way. So here we have some, uh, a reasonable amount of charcoal. We're getting ready to get started. And what I've done is I've put about 10 of these pieces of newspaper underneath the firebox. Now for those of you who don't read the newspaper anymore, which I know happens in the digital area, although I'm a little bit old school, we're going to show you a different way, a little bit easier in about 30 seconds. So we're going to put this underneath here. Remember I already put about 10 pieces of newspaper and we're going to light the newspaper in sunny, albeit windy, Miami. No, we're not. Thank you, Charlie. There we go. Nothing to it. And the wind is going to help us. There you go. That's the real fire way. To be honest, though, sometimes you might want to try a sure thing. So since we're not all, all Argentine gauchos, we may want to use one of our organic fire starters that you can find in any supermarket or hardware store. They don't cost much and they work real well. I put them, distribute them kind of evenly through the charcoal. And then what I do is I'm going to light it like so or not. There you go. It's lit. Number one. Number two. And it's going to start the charcoal all on its own. There you go. And just in case, I like a sure thing, so I'm going to do a third little piece. Now, what you need to do now is to have a glass of wine, take it slow, and in about a half an hour, these coals are going to be just right. As they fall through, you may want to put a few more coals on top so that you have enough depending on how much meat you're going to cook. Or vegetables, or fish, or pizza, or chicken. Anyway, y'all have a great day and take it slow, the real fire barbecue way. So a little while ago we put the charcoal on. It's been about 25-30 minutes and as you can see, it is ready. The amount that we want has fallen through the grates and we're just going to take this shovel and we are going to transfer it kind of anywhere we want throughout the grill. We're going to start to put the coals in the right place so that the grill gets hot. See what I'm doing? And then because I like to use the coal mover sometimes, this helps and it comes with the grill, depending on how you purchased it, we're going to do this. We're just going to move it around a little bit over here and we're going to shake this up a little bit. So they start falling through a little bit more. And then we're going to use the elevator function that comes with the new K grill to lower the grill as far as it'll go to get the grill hot. Take it away, Poppy. Okay, Poppy. Thank you, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes.